All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add configurable products to your site in Magento 2. So first of all, you're going to have to log into your Magento admin panel, and then you're going to select products and then catalog. Now once this is all loaded up, you're going to go over to the add product button and just select the drop down arrow. And then you're going to select configurable product. Now we're going to just enter in the basics, like the product name, um, the product SKU, something you can keep track of. Um, you can enter in the price here if you'd like, but it's not necessary. And then which tax class it falls under, whether it's taxable or not. Then you can add um, sort of like a base image for your item here. You don't have to enter your quantity here, um, but you can enter your weight. If it's a downloadable product, again, just hit no. Um, then select a category for your product to fall under, and just enter a quick description of it. Now we're going to uh, scroll down to configurations and click create configurations. Now here we're going to select an attribute for how you're going to be organizing your product. Um, for my purposes, I'm doing t-shirts, so I'm going to be um, selecting color as my attribute. If you don't see the attribute you want to use here, you can just uh, select create new attribute. But mine's already here, so I'm going to select color and then just hit the next button. Now I'm going to select my attribute values. I'm going to be having a blue shirt, a green shirt, and a red shirt. After you've selected those, just hit next once again. Now here, um, for the images, you can apply a single image to all SKUs, um, or you can apply a unique image by attribute to each SKU. So for my purposes, I'm going to show my red shirt, my green shirt, my blue shirt. So I apply a unique image. And then you just select the color attribute. So now I'm going to add in my blue shirt, add in my green shirt, and finally my red shirt. Now you can kind of do the same for price. If you want all of your items to be the same price, you can just select single price to all SKUs. Um, but if you want each of your products to be a unique price, you can apply a unique um, price to each SKU. But for my purposes, all my t-shirts are basically the same, so I'm gonna be using the same price. As for quantity, you can do it again. You can apply a single quantity to all the SKUs, but or you can apply a unique quantity by attribute to each SKU. So I'm going to select a unique quantity and I'm going to have um, 100 blue shirts, um, 50 green shirts, and 150 red shirts. Now once you're done here, you can just scroll back up to the top and hit next. Now here's just an overview of what you've done and you can just ensure everything's correct. And once you're happy here, you can click generate products. Now you can see all your configurations at the bottom and you can scroll all the way up to the top and click save. Make sure this page fully refreshes itself. There we go. And now just to confirm that everything I've done here has appeared on the front end, I'm just gonna go confirm that. Going. And there we are, there's my configuration. All right, and here's my configurable product. And as you can see, we have the different options, the green shirt, the red shirt. And yeah, so that's basically all you need to know to add a configurable product to your site. Uh, be sure to check out Collins Harper for best in industry Magento web development. And also feel free to check out our Collins Harper blog where we've, we'll have we be updating our videos and um, adding in some new stuff all the time. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching.